Okay, another uh, Chinese DIY kit. Uh, this one should be interesting. It's got lots of LEDs and it uh, does something, so uh, that will be fun. Uh, let me open it up, but I don't want to spill it all over my uh, bench, so I've got this nice orange or yellow uh, tray. So here's the uh, here's the schematic. Uh, I guess it's this way. Uh, let's see, let me zoom in on that a little bit. So it looks like there's one IC and lots of LEDs. Um, interesting. Uh, power connector. USB. <laughs> I don't think it's USB. <laughs> anyway, power connector. Um, a switch. And LEDs, and uh, here it is. Uh, so uh, it's in the shape of an hourglass, and I guess what it does is that the LEDs light up at the top, and then they slowly fill down to the bottom like it's a uh, sand through an hourglass. So I don't know what to expect. Uh, I guess that's a microprocessor. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's an STC uh, micro. Uh, where's my magnifying glass? Uh, it is a 15W201S. I'm not familiar with that one. A 16 pin dip. Uh, I've got a socket for it. So we will build it up and see how it works. This took a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> uh, I guess there's quite a few LEDs, but uh, that's done. So let's uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and put on the IC. I'll lose the uh, socket for the IC. The flimsy little leads on the socket. Switch. Okay. Uh, connector switch. Other switch. Oh, interesting. There's two switches. An on-off switch and a uh, push-button switch. Right. 
Um, there's a header over here. And a power connector over there. Capacitor. Let's put the capacitor on. Where's the capacitor go? Nowhere. It's interesting. They give me a capacitor, but then they don't give me any place to put it. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, leave that off then, I guess. Uh, ground VCC. Okay, let's put the header on. Oops. That's the problem with building these boards. You have to hold the part in with one hand. So my finger's underneath holding, holding the part on. And then I have to hold the solder with some other fingers and then solder it down. And you want to make sure that you don't solder something you're holding on to because it gets really hot and painful. See, let me uh, bend the leads on it. Right. Well, looks good. I think we can power it up. We don't really need the connector. I think we can just try it out. I assume it's 5 volts, so try to 5 volts. Let's see here. Ground. Plus 5. Oh. oh, it did something. Oh, it must be on. Although I have the switch set to off, which is interesting. Oh. Well, it's doing something. It looks like a... Uh, oops! Whoa! It's a... Uh, Open up my PC board holder here so we can hold it in the right orientation. And let me turn off the turn off the light so we can see it better. That's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, we'll let it run through once and uh, see what happens. I guess it just flips around and that'll be interesting to see if it flips or it just starts over again. Yeah, it just starts over again. Okay, so there's a button. So let's push the button, see what that does. Nothing. Turn the switch the other direction. Does that do anything? Oh, there we go. Oh, speeds it up. Whoa! <laughs> okay, does the button do anything? No, the button still doesn't do anything, so I don't know what that button does. Oh, there we go. If I hold it down... Oh, maybe I can set the speed. That's it. You know, you get these kits and there's no instructions, so... Well, I guess there is instructions. But they're all in Chinese, so it doesn't do me much good. But it looks like... Uh, I'm not sure what the switch does. But the little push button switch allows you to set the speed. That's nice. All right. I don't remember what I paid for this. A couple bucks. I don't think it was more than three dollars. Um, if you like to solder, it's a good project. See how slow we can make it go. That's that. That's that looks like it's as slow as it goes. And that's about as fast as it goes.
All right, hope you enjoyed that.